happy day children so we are this we were discussing the government budget the components of government budget and then the deficits in government budget so now let us look at a numerical question based on the deficits in government budget you look at this question this is in continuation to today's video it is question number 4 the from the following data calculate fiscal deficit for the figures i will be using for first revenue expenditure 30 tax receipt 12 capital expenditure 150 non tax revenue receipt 14 capital receipt net of borrowing 150 So here, yeah, what we have to find, we have to find the fiscal deficit. So you see, what is fiscal deficit? You know that fiscal deficit. It is equal to total budget expenditure minus total budget. Receipt except borrowing, and it is also the same as the amount of borrowing. Since directly no item is given about the amount of borrowing, so we cannot find the fiscal deficit directly from the items. So what we have to do? We have to find the fiscal deficit. We have to calculate the fiscal deficit by deducting the total budget receipts except borrowing from total budget. Now, what about total budget expenditure? Total budget expenditure is equal to revenue expenditure plus capital expenditure. Are you sure, sir? Revenue expenditure is what? Capital expenditure minus total budget receipt except borrowing is the sum of revenue receipt or revenue receipt plus Capital receipt except borrowing or net of borrowing. Now you see revenue expenditure. It is given in at a number one. So it is equal to item number one plus. Let us see whether capital expenditure is there or not. We go to the items. You see the third number item is capital expenditure. So Here we have to add this third item, capital expenditure. These two together gives us the total budget expenditure. Now, about the total budget receipts, we have to add revenue receipt and capital receipt except borrowing. Both of the items you see capital receipt except borrowing, the net of borrowing, which is the same thing as except borrowing, is directly given. So you can take this one. Now, what about revenue receipt? You know. You go through the items. Second item, tax receipt. It is the revenue receipt. It is the part of the revenue receipt. And another item is given. Number four, non-tax revenue receipt. So it is also revenue receipt. So how much is the revenue receipt here? As per this question, as per the items given, the revenue receipt will be the sum of tax receipt as well as the non-tax revenue receipt. That is, to say, item number two plus this one is item number four. So these two together gives us revenue receipt, and to this we have to add the capital receipt except borrowing or capital receipt net of borrowing, which is item number five. So item number five. Now put the amount. In item number one, the amount is thirty. Thirty plus item number three, amount is one hundred fifty. Then item number two, you can take the tax receipt, which is twelve. Plus item number four, fourteen. Plus item number five, one hundred fifty. Simplify this. 30 plus 150, that is 180. 180 plus 
minus you see 12 plus 14 plus 115 12 plus 14 gives us 26 then 115 plus 26 which is 141 so this again comes up to be 180 minus 141 it is 39 and the uh, amount that given in rupees flows so this much rupees flow Lastly, you should write answer in statement form like this. Thus, the fiscal deficit is 39 rupees crore. That's all. Then, after this, we will go to the next question. Till then, thank you.